Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for February 20th of 2023. Well, it is titled NGC 1850 not found in the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as NGC 1850. And this is a star cluster seen in the large Magellanic cloud. And what makes it so interesting is that it has no nothing comparable to it within our own Milky Way that we have ever seen. It actually looks like a globular star cluster in many ways. And we do have many globular star clusters uh, around our Milky Way, hundreds of them. And it looks vaguely like those, but not quite in that these are very young stars. Now, globular clusters tend to be some of the oldest parts of our galaxy, the very oldest things dating back to the origin of our galaxy itself. Now this 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 is actually a very young cluster in fact a double cluster with ages of the larger cluster of about 50 million years and the younger cluster with about 4 million years. Now compare that to a globular cluster in which might be 10 or 12 billion years old and these are many times younger. So a very young star cluster by comparison. It's also a double star cluster. I mentioned that there are two clusters there of dif differing ages. Now, this is actually located in the large Magellanic cloud, which is a satellite galaxy uh, of our own. And we do see this cluster. Now, the, the nebula nebulosity that is associated with it is not is are actually remnants of supernovae explosions. So stars that have exploded here, which would not happen generally in a globular cluster, there would be no massive stars to explode. So you would not get any, get any of what we call a type two supernova. And they are still occurring here. And the fact that they have occurred in this region means that they have to be very young because the stars that form this type of supernova only live for a very short period of time before they explode in a massive supernova explosion. So very interesting and a very different type of cluster to anything that we know in our own galaxy. Again, in many ways, sim similar to a globular cluster, but very, very young by comparison. Again, a globular cluster might be 10 or 12 billion years old. The younger part of this cluster is only 4 million years old, less than 1 1,000th the age of a typical globular cluster. So that was our picture of the day for February 20th of 2023. It was titled NGC 1850, not found in the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be double falls. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.